Chapter 15 Statistical Evaluation of Data As you may know, we have two types of statistics that we use in research. One is descriptive and the other one is in French. Descriptive statistic is basically a method that we use to organize or to simplify or summarize data something like percentages or averages or numbers or counting whatever statistic that we use to uh, describe a set of scores inferential statistics on the other hand are the methods in which we collect data on a sample and we try to generalize the data to the population any number or any score that we collect on a sample or describes a sample is called statistics so if we have a group of participants and the average score is 25 that 25 is called a statistic and any value or any score core uh, or any score that describes a population is called a parameter usually we show the statistic in an English alphabet and population uh, parameter is shown in Greek's alphabet uh, for example here M equals to 25 or S equals to 2 but uh, the parameters which is the average of scores in the population we show it with mu uh, equals to 25 and the standard deviation instead of s we use sigma uh, equals to 2. One of the basic statistics that we use to explain or to, to describe a sample is frequency distribution. Frequency distribution is simply frequency distribution is simply uh, the frequency of any given score uh, in a sample for example uh, in this case the first column shows the, st the scores and uh, the second column shows the frequency of that score in this case we have one student who got five and three students who got four and four students who got three on this test. Another way to show descriptive statistics is to use histogram and polygon. Uh, histogram is a graphic version of frequency distribution. Again, this chart shows, for example, how many ones we had, how many twos we had and how many three so for example here we had four students who scored three on the test or we can show it with a polygon the same way uh, that we use the histogram and one more way is the bar graph bar graph is similar to histogram again except the histogram is like a continuous numbers but here we have new but here we are dealing with categorical scale or nominal scale so for example this chart shows how many of the students uh, in the sample were from psychology how many from biology how many from english etc sometimes the charts or the histograms easier to interpret sometimes it's harder to interpret for example in this chart you have to figure out uh, what these orange or blue or dark blue and light blue shows in terms of in terms of comparing different countries in how the national income is distributed and this one uh, is another way to show uh, descriptive statistics on uh, like uh, how how much different countries are different in terms of their uh, transparency and uh, this is again another one that shows uh, uh, or describes the freedom of uh, internet in different countries. Another descriptive statistic that's very popular is the central tendency. Central tendency simply means uh, the average or the most uh, typical value or the most representative number 
to show in the entire sample. The mean, the media, and the mode uh, are three uh, examples of central tendency. The mean is the average, and the median uh, is uh, the score that divides the distribution in half, uh, and the mode is the most uh, f frequent score in the distribution. And finally, uh, another way to describe distribution of scores in a sample is variability that uh, could be shown in terms of a range. That's the difference between minimum and maximum score. The standard division, that's the average distance from the mean, and the variance, which is the average squared distance from the mean. This slide shows how actually standard deviation and a variance are calculated. As you see in this uh, slide, uh, these are the scores of the students. This is the uh, mean of the scores or the average of the scores. Uh, so in order to calculate the variance and standard deviation, first you have to calculate the distance of each score from the mean. For example, this is 10. The, uh, the average is 6, 10 minus 6 is 4, 7 minus 6 is 1, 9 minus 6 is 3. So this is the distance between each score and the mean. So when you make this list, the next column you square them. So this uh, 4 squared is 16, 1 squared is 1, 3 squared is 9. And then you t calculate the total of these squared scores. Uh, and we call it sum of square. So after you calculate the sum of square, you simply divide it by the number of participants and you get the variance. And when you calculate the square root of the variance, you get the standard deviation. For non-numerical data, obviously we can't calculate the average or the mean or the median or the variance. Uh, the only thing we can do is the percentage. Uh, for example, uh, you may describe your population in terms of what, percent, what percentage prefer a Democrat candidate, what percentage prefer Republican candidates.